hello everyone, and welcome to the Top Invented YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to check out the 5 best keyboard for Fortnite. I try to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. If you want to see the price, and find out more information about these keyboard, you can check out the description, and the comment section below. Ok so let's get started with the video. At Number 1. We have HyperX Alloy Elite. The HyperX Alloy Elite is one of our favorite keyboards for good reasons. Its wide selection of Cherry MX switches, complemented with a bristling feature set, and wrapped in an attractive price, makes it a top choice for any gamer. Built with a durable aluminum front plate, it can handle as much punishment as you can dish out to your opponents. A hard plastic rust rest provides additional comfort during long gaming sessions. Despite having no dedicated macros and RGB backlights, its performance and features more than make up for its shortcomings. At number 2. We have Logitech Ground 413. The Logitech Ground 413 may be austere, but it compensates for its lack of features, with its lightning fast Romer G tactile switch. Requiring only 1mm to actuate, the Romer G registers keystrokes sooner than most standard mechanical switches. With a dual contact design, it's durable too, lasting 70 million keystrokes per key. Out of the roster of Logitech keyboards equipped with the Romer G switch, we specifically selected the G413 due to its excellent value and understated aesthetics. Normally, a premium switch like this is reserved only for premium boards and with them premium pricing. The G413, however, is an exception. Despite its performance and aluminum chassis, you can often score one for under $80. At number 3. We have Corsair K95 RGB Platinum. The Corsair K95 RGB Platinum classic rectangular chassis with a matte black finish. The K95 RGB Platinum tones the gaudy gamer look way down. That's not to say it isn't flashy. With vivid RGB backlights and a LED strip at the top, it's still gorgeous. The all-important macro keys are still there, but Corsair took extra care to texturize their surface for improved grip. The macro key keycaps are angled slightly inwards so that they're easier to reach. Other details like the comfortable metallic volume wheel and the dual-sided wrist rest are just superior to the options on the right Jaws KM780R. At number 4. We have Razer Huntsman Elite. The Razer Huntsman Elite, and its optomechanical switches, earned high praise for its distinguished performance in our review. Being an optical switch, the Razer optomechanical switch registers keystrokes, by way of interrupting a laser under every switch. Its excellent tactility is accompanied, with a resounding click, making it an attractive option, for those looking for a more responsive alternative to the clicky Cherry MX Blue switch. Actuating at 1.5mm, and bottoming out at 3mm, it's faster than most mechanical switches too. The Huntsman Elite scored admirably in both aesthetics and features. The durable sleek chassis is the bed stone for dedicated media controls and a programmable dial on the top right. At number 5. We have Cooler Master Master Keys S. The Cooler Master Master Keys S is designed for portability, but that's not the only advantage to its small size. Shaving off the number pad opens up more space for your mouse, preventing accidental bumps during wide movements. For players who like to have their mouse closer to the center of the table, the tanky less form factor helps tremendously. The Master Keys S makes extensive use of Cherry MX switches under the hood. From the clicky Cherry MX Blues to the linear Cherry MX Red, you'll be able to find a switch that best suits your preference. Macros are programmed and stored directly on board, saving some hassle when connected to another PC. 